never in the history of dentistry has good been the enemy of great more than in dental implants. Over the years, guys, implants have evolved. And where we started with, you know, a couple of decades back, was a system that had to be driven by an anatomical approach. And when we look at an anatomical approach, what that means is we're going to typically raise a flap, we're going to look at the bone, we're going to evaluate the bone, we're going to place the implant and our best hope in the right location um, inside the mouth freehand, okay? And then the implant heals, and then the prosthodontic work begins. And hopefully, if the implant's somewhat in the right location, you get a decent outcome. But we all know, if you've been practicing any time at all, that when you go into hygiene, you see a lot of implants that have a lot of prosthodontic solutions that are less than ideal. And you can look to the literature and you can see the pink aesthetic scores and the white aesthetic scores leave an enormous, enormous room for improvement in dental implants, okay? A, a huge gap. There's, there's a large opportunity for us to get better at this. And I think the problem is good is the enemy of great. So what we have is we have a, a high implant success rate where the implant doesn't get infected, it stays in the mouth, but the aesthetics and the long-term function of that solution are poor. So what happens is, is that we've been doing this for a few decades and we have normalized the deviation. And, and so let me give you an example of what that means. You're driving down the interstate and you're doing the speed that everyone else around you is doing. And that speed is 10 miles per hour over the speed limit. But because everyone is doing 10 miles per hour over the speed limit, you're doing 10 miles above the speed limit. And so what becomes the norm for everyone on the interstate is 10 miles over the speed limit. It becomes the normal speed limit. It's what you think. That's acceptable because that's what we've been doing. So let's take that analogy and bring it back to dental implants. We've been getting dental implants pretty poor in terms of its positioning for decades. We've done it so long that you can go to classes even today that say, look, I'll teach you to be as bad as I am. Okay, now that may hurt, okay? By saying that, that may hurt people, but there are courses out there that go, look, I've been doing it for a long time and I'm this bad and you can be this bad too and it's acceptable. We're normalizing the deviation. We're saying that this bad, this level of badness is acceptable and it's not. There are ways to be much, much more predictable today than there ever were with the ability to do printing in the office and to do surgical guides on every single case for a few dollars, we can accomplish our goal of getting our implants within a couple hundred microns of our desired location. And thus, by doing so, we can have a much better outcome for our patients. And that means longer lasting restorations that are more aesthetic, both in terms of the white, white aesthetic score and the pink aesthetic score. But it all comes back to this. You have to adapt to the new technology and you can't allow good enough to let you think that that's good enough today, okay? So good is the enemy of great. We can all be great if we just take this a little bit further to the next step and certain classes are teaching that. And if you go to those courses, you're going to be great from the beginning. You don't have to go through a good phase for decades where you're just doing good work. You can go straight to great. And if you don't believe me, our students that come to our institute, when they graduate, they send me some of their very first cases, and I just want to cry. They are so beautiful, and they're world-class outcomes, and literally, they're the first cases they've ever done. Well, how are they doing that? Well, they're using a surgical guide. And a surgical guide is the probably the easiest instrument you could ever use in dentistry. It's easier to place a surgical implant than it is to put a rubber dam on someone. <laughs> I mean, guys, if you've ever tried to put a rubber dam on yourself rather than have your, your assistant help you, that thing's a pain in the rump, and we all know it, right? It's easier to place an implant in the right location with a guide than just about any single individual treatment that we offer in dentistry. There is no such thing as a, as a hard placement of a dental implant with a guide. There's none. You may be challenged by getting the guide into position, but that's just part of your everyday work, right? You got to earn it, right? Some things are hard in life. Step up and do the right thing. Put the implant in the right location. 
give the patient the best outcome and have low risk for them and you so that they're happy. And we all know, we all know what happens when the patients are happy. When the patients are happy, we're happy. And when we're happy, the family's happy and everyone's happy. It's just a happy world that way. If you like this video, give us a like, subscribe, and share with your friends. If you haven't had a chance to experience one of our courses, come see what you've been missing at Stanley Institute.